It may sound strange that two probes constructed in a rush and with little money have become NASA's most successful space missions. The Voyager twins have been flying through space since the 1970s, and now Voyager 2 has sent its last images from space. The Voyager space probes have now been traveling for more than 40 years. When the probes were launched, nobody would have thought that these objects would last so long. Voyager 1 and 2 were actually only supposed to explore the outer solar system for five years. Jupiter and Saturn were the main targets, and NASA was delighted when Uranus and Neptune were also possible. Then it went on and on, and the two have long since flown out of the solar system and into space. Their destination is unclear. No one knows where they will eventually emerge. In tens of thousands of years, the probes will pass the nearest star for the first time, and who knows, maybe one day they will even be found by aliens. During their long service, the probes have made countless breathtaking discoveries. They have answered some of the most pressing questions in space exploration, raised hundreds of new questions and given us views of planets and cosmic phenomena that humanity has never seen before. Voyager 1 and 2 have long since become space travel legends, and these technical marvels will go down in history. That much is already clear. How did the space probes survive for so long? Voyager 1 and 2 were never meant to survive 40 years in space. In the early 1970s, a NASA scientist recognized a rare constellation of outer planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would soon be practically in a row and closer to Earth than they had been in 170 years. NASA simply had to take advantage of this extraordinary constellation. Engineers quickly built the first prototype of a durable probe that would be ready for launch in just two years. Hundreds of engineers and technicians took up the challenge and built Voyager 1 and its identical twin, Voyager 2, in a fast-paced process and with an austerity budget that was somehow quickly scraped together. Both probes have the same mission, although their paths are very different. These two twin sisters are not hurtling through the cosmos hand in hand. Instead, they set off at great distances from each other in order to cover more space and make even more impressive discoveries. Today, researchers are certain that the Voyager probes are so extremely durable precisely because they were constructed in the simplest possible way. The latest findings from Voyager 2 are surprising. Who would have thought that one of the most impressive images Voyager 2 sent us was also one of the first? In 1981, Voyager 2 reached its primary target, the gas giant Saturn. This exceptional probe gathered so much information that it completely changed our view of the giant planet. Voyager 1 had already flown past Saturn in 1980 and orbited the planet on August 26, 1981, taking the first precise detailed images of the structures in Saturn's rings. During the second flyby of Voyager 2, just a few months later, the scientists knew exactly what to look for thanks to this information. The ideas of the double probe paid off and gave Voyager 2's flyby much more focus and purpose. The images it sent back were an even more accurate view of Saturn's fantastic rings. In particular, the narrow outermost F ring was a special spot that NASA scientists wanted to take a closer look at. Voyager 2 detected kinks and weaves in the rings, making it clear that the rings are dynamic and complex structures. These images taught us that not all rings are created equal. We also saw for the first time how many rings Saturn actually has. From a distance, it looks as if there are three large and differently colored rings, but these photos showed hundreds of individual rings, each with its own unique structure. After Voyager 2 had explored Saturn and was still in good shape, NASA decided to steer the probe onto Uranus. Uranus rings are stunning. The discoveries Voyager made at Uranus were even more astounding. By early 1986, Voyager 2 had reached the seventh planet in the system. The probe took a series of wonderful pictures and transmitted them back to Earth. NASA was astonished to see two never-before-seen rings around the planet and 11 undiscovered moons. These rings, although not as prominent as Saturn's, are unique in their composition and structure. They consist mainly of large dust particles and small boulders held in orbit by the planet's gravity. It is believed that these rings are the result of collisions between the moons of Uranus and other celestial bodies. The discovery of these rings has increased scientists' understanding of the dynamics and evolution of planetary rings. Uranus is a fascinating planet, 
Its pale blue color is the result of the absorption of red light by methane in the upper atmosphere. The reflected light we see is the blue and green light that passes through the methane clouds and is scattered back into space by the planet's atmosphere. This gives Uranus its characteristic pale blue color. The planet's frigid cold, with temperatures as low as 213 degrees Celsius, makes it one of the coldest places in our solar system. It is assumed that these extreme temperatures also contribute to the formation and maintenance of its rings and moons. Uranus remains a mystery to this day. Its axis of rotation is tilted by 98 degrees, which means that it rotates sideways, unlike any other planet in our solar system. What did Voyager 2 discover behind Uranus? After visiting Uranus, Voyager 2 simply sailed on. To this day, it remains the only spacecraft to have investigated the ice giant more closely. When Voyager 2 flew past Uranus in 1986, it was the first and so far only time that a space probe has examined this mysterious ice giant up close. The discoveries about Uranus itself were already impressive, but behind the planet, the probe gathered equally fascinating information. Beyond Uranus, Voyager 2 discovered a complex and dynamic magnetic environment. The magnetosphere of Uranus, which is generated by the planet's magnetic field, showed an unusual orientation that deviated almost 60 degrees from the planet's axis of rotation. This was a surprising discovery, as the magnetic fields of other planets are usually aligned closer to their rotational axes. This unique magnetic geometry led to complex interactions between Uranus's magnetic field and the solar wind, the constant stream of charged particles emanating from the Sun. Uranus has a kind of magnetic tail that extends millions of kilometers into space. This tail of charged particles and complex plasma waves and currents accompanied the probe for quite some time during its flight to the borders of the solar system. After Uranus, the probe still had billions of kilometers to go before reaching the end of the solar system. Voyager 1 had a similar fate. After paying a visit to Neptune, the probe also set off into the vastness of space, destination unknown. Despite the uncertain course of the rest of the mission, scientists hoped that these probes would provide data from the edge of the heliosphere, the protective plasma cloud of our sun, for the first time. The solar wind emitted by the sun interacts with the wind coming from the deep reaches of interstellar space, creating the heliospheric bubble that protects Earth and the rest of the solar system from harmful cosmic rays. When the space probes flew through the heliosphere in 2011 and 2018 respectively, it was a unique first in the history of space exploration. Now that the Voyager space probes are beyond this point, they are approaching what scientists call interstellar space, the vast void between the stars. Even though it is so far away and has been in space for so long, the Voyager probes continue to surprise scientists with their new discoveries. Recently, a new study reported a new signal detected by Voyager 1. Where there should be nothing but emptiness and radiation, the probe's plasma sensors showed wave systems. What was initially perceived as a slight hum was actually a wealth of data that scientists were puzzled by. In reviewing these results, the team was able to obtain a new measurement of the density of the mixture of molecules, atoms, and ionized gas that apparently fills the space between our stars. It is not yet entirely clear what this means. We will need more measurement data from the probes to find out more about interstellar space. But this is where time is running out. The Voyager twins will run out of power. Both probes are flying with only a minimum of the necessary technical equipment. The camera systems have long since been switched off, because where the two probes are now, there is nothing but eternal darkness. Only the few particles around the room make a slight crackling noise. You can imagine that a sudden plasma stream, as measured by Voyager 1, must seem like the sudden appearance of a river full of new possibilities in this quiet crackling. In any case, the two sisters should continue to send data until 2025. Perhaps the stream will even reach a little further, and we can look forward to many new discoveries from the two of them. One last photo of Earth. The most impressive image of the Voyager mission is not that of a distant planet or object. This image shows us the Earth. The pale blue dot image has been described by scientists around the world as one of the best astronomical images of all time. 
It gives us a very good idea of how tiny and insignificant the Earth is in the grand scheme of things. The image was taken from more than 6 billion kilometers away and makes our planet look like a pale, tiny dot in the middle of nothing. In fact, the Earth was only 0.12 pixels across in this image. Nevertheless, this image is just one of many breathtaking pictures that the space probe has sent us since its launch from Earth in the 1970s. Together, Voyager 1 and 2 have taken more than 100,000 photos and delivered countless bytes of measurement data. They are currently continuing their journey more than 20 billion kilometers away from us. Next time you look up at the sky, you can imagine that somewhere out there, two comparatively tiny probes are the very first man-made objects to explore space. Don't miss the upcoming top videos and subscribe to the channel now.